Hello everyone and welcome back. We're headed up to the ICOG 9th Annual Get Together out of JR's Corner. We're a little bit over halfway there. We're driving up here today, it's Wednesday. We didn't leave until 11 o'clock because it was 27 degrees and misting out. And I was worried the roads would be bad. Melissa's behind me with her truck. The event doesn't start until tomorrow at noon and goes through Sunday. But we wanted to get up here early. We can't park where the event's going to be, but we're going to get out on the ice, I think, and that's what they tell us to do, and decide if we want to move the house tomorrow and go over to the event or just drive over to the event. I'm not sure. We're looking forward to doing some fishing, really, so we'll see what happens. There it is, Red Lake. Here we are at JR's Corner Access. We just went in there and got our road pass. Time to take this humongous fish house out on the ice. wait for Melissa to catch up so it cost us $15 so $30 for the two vehicles to get in today and then tomorrow I think it's like 70 bucks a person to get into the event we're supposed to go into road five six or seven that they've got plowed out there you can go as early as three and four which is where it starts but that's right against the event and they're gonna be plowing and doing all kind of stuff making noise out there didn't even ask me what kind of house or anything. I have not seen one this big on the ride up here, but I did see stuff on the Facebook page of houses way bigger than this one that were out here somewhere. Look at all the, you guys probably can't see it, but there was a lot of people fishing. I'm only doing eight miles an hour. They didn't have a speed limit on here, but the reason a lot of times people will break through the ice is you go too fast and it creates a wave in front of you. And since I'm running about 18 or 19,000 pounds, I don't want to make a wave. <laughs> I haven't slept good the last two nights just because of the anxiety of driving up here with, the, with it and what it's gonna be like on the ice. And I'm gonna sleep really good tonight. That's one of their wheelhouse roads. Need to take a look at the map. So that's wheelhouse road. So everything on my left right now is where the event's gonna be. And then there's wheelhouse road three, four, and we're supposed to be on five, six, or seven on the left side there. So this area here is where the event is gonna be. Got some ice heaves right there. There's some big houses there. Slide outs, every bit as big as this one. I think for tonight, we're gonna dump it right here. That's our closest neighbor so far. Melissa and the dogs are parked over there. I don't want her to go through that plowed snow. I'm afraid she might get stuck.
Well, right now I just have the camper plugged into this Bluetti AC200L. It says it'll run it for 8.1 hours. I just need it to run for maybe an hour or so and I'll plug it into the generator. First time I used the 30 amp plug though, that's kind of nice. I'm going to see where the nearest let's see, cell phone tower is. Looks like that's the direction I want to face it. New Minnesota rule, they're cracking down on littering on the lake. So you can put your garbage into a garbage can, but the garbage can has to be attached to the, the fish house. So it is now tied to the fish house, so I'm legal. Ready to drill some holes? Yep. Come on, Annie. All right. Come on. That's okay.
just starting up my Thor kitchen two burner portable gas grill here cook up some burgers and a couple of brats tonight I think tomorrow we might move the house I don't think we're gonna actually park in the event area I think it's gonna be like here we have wide spaces between us and the next people we haven't caught any fish we've been fishing for a couple hours now and not a bite so we might move spots but I think if we're in the actual event area it's gonna be fish house fish house fish house fish house and we're just not about that it may be different if we were 25 and you know really enjoyed partying still till 2 o'clock in the morning but we don't uh, I mean some of those people are bringing two and three hundred we follow the the Facebook page for the event and some people are bringing 300 jello shots and somebody else is bringing 200 jello shots and you know I'd rather just have a bowl of jello <laughs> I don't need the shot part I'm fine with a few beers so I don't know we're just worried there might be too much of a party deal and we do want to try to catch some fish we can still attend it we just got to go over to it we might move even closer to it but not be right in there just go there to vendor row maybe go down there and see uh, one of the bands go there for the taco benefit and just you know we can still go there just not be camped right in there you'll be able to see it from here I mean it's just right over there Maybe I'll bring her outside with me when I'm doing this. Yeah, so she rocket, she wants to go over there. Oh, does she? Not much going on there now. No, I'm just just a light, but yeah. You know. Annie. It's still misting out right now. What a yucky overcast day. Doesn't matter when you're in the fish house, but not supposed to be any sun for the next few days. What are you doing, Annie? Huh? All right guys, well, just about time for bed. So I brought the Bluetti AC200L out here and charged it up. And I'm gonna run the fish house off of this tonight. We'll see how it does. It's misting out, it's like 28 degrees. <laughs> you know me. Put it through the ringer. Says it'll run it for nine hours. I know I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't think I've ever slept that long. Joni? Joni! 
Come on, Annie. I didn't film much this morning. We were gonna move over to the event area and then decided, you know, last night we weren't gonna move, and then to this morning we were gonna move, and now we're gonna stay here. And if we wanna move there, we could do it tomorrow or whatever. So I'm just cooking up some lunch now. She's made salads in there and I'm cooking up burgers and brats again. There have been tons of wheelhouses coming out today. Today is Thursday. The actual event is down there and it looks like just solid houses already. Don't know if we'll run down there today or if we'll go tomorrow. Tonight we'll be able to hear the music because they'll have a band out there playing. I've had one of my rattle reels go down three times, but there was nothing there. When I went to grab it, it just must have been just grabbing the minnow itself. And then I did mark a fish on my, my other line but it wouldn't grab it. But everybody's saying that everything here is a night bite and that from Sunday to Tuesday, it was really good and then it shut off Wednesday, which is yesterday. And they said most of the fish they're catching though are between 10 at night and four in the morning. It's 8.30 at night right now. We're just in there fishing. I had something in my column just a few minutes ago, but just nothing biting. All the lights you see right there, that's the event. We're probably gonna stop in there tomorrow for a little bit, which is Friday, but Saturday is the bigger day. And that's when they have the raffle and we have raffle tickets and stuff, so. All the lights over there on the left, our trucks that are driving out right now onto the lake. There's, there's literally hundreds of the ice castle type fish houses out. I have the camera totally zoomed in right now. Well, can't see much right there, but. My beer fridge, it's 26 degrees. Okay everyone, it's a quarter to 11. Melissa's already asleep. Switched it off the generator, put it back on the Bluetti AC200L. It's time for bed.
Good morning, everybody. Just been in there fishing. I caught a perch and Melissa caught a Cisco this morning. So first time we're catching any fish, but nothing overnight. No rattle reels went off, nothing. A lot of people have, I've seen some houses come in this morning and some going out. Cold this morning. I mean, it's, the temperature is only like, I think 24 or something. So it's not bad, but there's a little bit of a breeze. Still this foggy it was kind of misty this morning haven't seen the sun in several days but it's nice in the fish house down there. Deep's coming right up off the bottom. Sniffing my lure. I mean it's right even with the lure now. Baked potatoes in the oven. We're having ribeyes. We're gonna cook over charcoal. And that's gonna be a nice lunch and then a salad. Well, we got the first walleye. It's just a little one. Throw it back, but first one we've seen this time up. Don't eat that, Chunky. Hi, Sissy's at. Hi, Sissy's at 7 o'clock. Just 
flatten the dogs out. Still constant line of wheelhouses coming in. I can't imagine how many they're going to be on the ice tomorrow with it being Saturday tomorrow. So the drinking water one is coming out and so is the domestic water one. And we should be able to put them both in there for a shower, right? I'm trying to use my truck as a windbreak. It's raw tonight with that wind. So now we're just watching movies. I set up the rattle reels, everything like correctly so I can do a couple different sets overnight. We've been leaving two rods and two rattle reels down, but I changed every one of them and we're just gonna have rattle reels down tonight. And now I just took the Ida Hill, I believe it's called, water purifier, and tried to figure that out. I think I've got it and I'm filling up that bucket. I did bring water from home for showers, but uh, I really wanted to use that unit to see how it works. So I've got that purifying water from the lake right now and timing it to see how long it takes to fill up that big container. And then I'll show you guys how long it took. The water coming out of it is crystal clear. Not bad, about a half hour to fill this thing up. I'm gonna miss you so much. You know you have to be strong, honey, because what we have is unbreakable. Monsters are nice just like you, but when the boom comes out, the real monster. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Just switched from battery to generator. A little bit breezy this morning, but still in the 20s. We both just took a shower and now Melissa is cooking up nachos for lunch and then I think about two o'clock we're gonna go over to that event and see what's happening.
I'm gonna drive to the event right now myself. I wanna be there for the raffle dry. And Melissa just didn't feel like going right now. I mean, we showered everything ready to go. And, but if we decide to go listen to the band later, then she'll come out there. I told her I want to be there when I win the first prize, which is a 22-foot ice castle fish house and a, uh, one of those UTV side-by-sides. <laughs> That's the first prize. I said I got to be there when I win that. Still have not really saw land. I got a little kind of a glimpse of it in the fog yesterday afternoon. Otherwise, it has just been like we're in our own white little bubble. It's my seatbelt, but you can't have your seatbelt on when you're on the ice. Because if your truck falls through, you gotta have your window open, seatbelt off, so you can get out the window. I'm gonna run down vendor row. I wanna see if they have any door stops and then we'll eventually make it to the big tent. It wouldn't have been bad coming out on the far parts of it, but you still have to drive to the tent. It's pretty cool how they have this set up though. Like Melissa said, if we had a couple, another couple of couples that had Ice Castle fish houses, this would be fun to go to. You all kind of park together and it, it would just be a fun time, but we don't know any of these. Well, some of them probably know me, but <laughs> I don't know them yet. Like, look at this group. I mean, we already drove by this, we're coming back, but they've got their snow thing in the middle called the Tip Up Bar. Couldn't do it without them. Or it was learning, right? Uh, this year we have been doing meetings every single month or every other month throughout the year to make sure that everybody everything was put in. Great event! It's super fun. We got to know so many people that are basically family now. Um, it's really cool. You guys put a lot of work. Do you guys want to start at the top or the bottom? Do you guys prefer the top or the bottom? 
Raise your hand if you prefer the top. Raise your hand if you prefer the bottom. <laughs> Bunch of lazy individuals out there. All right, we'll drink that. All right, we're gonna start at the bottom with the number 42 prize, the Eskimo pistol bit. Well, I didn't win big this year, <laughs> but I did talk to a few people who were subscribers and that was pretty nice. It's cold out there. I mean, it's not that cold, but when you're out there for an hour like that or whatever it was, it's cold. Yeah, it's actually 5.07, so a little over an hour. And now I can't wait to get back to the warm fish house. Road 5. There we are. Just caught another perch. It's a nice one. I'm standing in the same place that we were when a couple of fireworks went off. It's so foggy, I can't even see any fish houses in the event. Okay everyone, well, it's time for bed. It is so foggy that I can see no lights on any other fish house out here. It's like we're the only ones on the lake. And I just saw JR's Corner Access run a plow truck down the road. They're still out here plowing rows, making sure everything is okay. Tomorrow we'll head home. It's been a really great trip. Good morning everybody absolutely beautiful I came out at 4 o'clock this morning and it was still foggy and now it's just about 730 actually I come back out about 6 o'clock and it was really pretty clear you could see most of the lights first time we're gonna see the Sun since we got here and it's the day to head home
driving me crazy. What's that? I said they're driving me crazy. <laughs> They are backed up for miles to get over that bridge. Wow. Well, we got off the ice safe even though they had to have a bridge over part of it and had kept having to move the road because it kept going down into the water. And now we're headed home. We just stopped here. I needed diesel. I was down to 100 miles to eat when I left and then I got worried when we're waiting on the ice. But I got here and I was 75 miles to eat. So I'm filled up. Got some junk food at the gas station for lunch. And I don't know what we have, 130, 140 miles to home. Just stopped and got Melissa a coffee because she was almost falling asleep back there. 45 miles to go. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Made it back home safe and sound. I will see you guys on the next video.